Mobad's death has taken different dimensions. Like I don't even know where to start from, honestly. So the stories involved are just too much. Different stories every day. Who do we believe, my people? Now we are all looking for justice. But it seems everyone has shifted from Naira Mari and Sam Larry to his wife, Mimi. No, but the way things are going, people are demanding for a DNA test to be done on Mubad's son. We all know that Mubad has a six months old baby he left behind. But according to all indications, according to social media influencers, according to some of the celebrities, they are saying that a DNA test should be conducted on the son before giving the mother the 30 million Naira Nigerians donated to, to them. But the mother of the boy insisted that there will be no DNA test. So right now, there is this video I would love you guys to watch. This video was made by the very black man, I mean the very dark black man. I don't know if you guys know him, but if you don't know him, he's the guy you are seeing right now on your screen. You guys already know that this guy is used to speaking up when it comes to stuff like this. And you know, he has been making so much investigation on this matter. This man has said a lot concerning this issue. I'm going to let you guys watch the video, but before then, Dr. Kemi Olunlayo, an investigative journalist, you guys already know this woman, she came up with this news that I don't even know how to say it, honestly. I'm just tired about this whole thing because it has really taken a different dimension from what we have been expecting. We have been expecting Naira Mali and um, Sami Lari to be persecuted, but as it is now, nobody is even talking about them again. They have shifted everything every attention to his wife, Bumi. So, Kemi Olunlayo insists that Sam Larry is the true father of Mobad's child. I don't know how true this is, but this is what this woman said recently. The baby that Bumi Aloba is calling Mobad's son is not Mobad's son. The baby belongs to Sam Larry. The baby was allegedly fathered by Sam Larry. And I told the police that this might be where you want to start your investigation. I spoke to four sources. They told me this is where it all started and this is why. I said, well, we have a music industry issue here. We have a discrepancy between an artist who wants to come out of your contract and take his royalties as well. I said, that, that's just a side show. The problem started with a pregnancy. When we lived in the Malian house with Mobad, at least when they were there, she was known to have sex with possibly all the guys in the house. Gift Wukoma says, I trust you. Okay. According to her, she said, a break in the Mobad case from Dubai, UAE, Sam Larry reportedly fathered Mobad's son. Full video on Facebook. I don't know whether she made a full video on Facebook or whatever. But, you know, she asked the woman a lot of questions, okay? You know, at first, when people insisted that this woman would do a DNA test, I was against it. I said no, that is not, you know, it's not necessary. That is somehow to ask a grieving woman to conduct a DNA test of for her son who just lost his dad. Everyone is a suspect, including his father, his wife, and those three guys that took him to the hospital. Last night, the hospital where his friends claimed that he died released a statement saying that Mobadi did not die in the hospital, that they brought him dead already, okay? So they wrote a lot of things, but they just cleared the air that, you know, that he wasn't their patient, okay? So my question is, where are those three guys that were with him in the car? Those guys that made this video you are seeing right now on the screen, we need to question those guys. We really, really have to question those guys if we want this justice to be done. But the way things are going, I still insist that the police should call Naira Mali and Sam Larry to turn themselves to the police for more investigation. Because right now they are outside the country cruising, chilling. Because they also played a part in that boy's death. Okay? So there is this comment I saw here I would love to read to you guys. Because after Madame Kemi revealed that uh, Mobad's son is fathered 
by Sam Larry. There is this comment I saw here, I would love to read to you guys. The person wrote, in that late voice note, Mobad indicated the wife by himself. Omo, um, Nigerians are really dry when it comes to brain work. Omo um, Mobad said so many things about his wife. You are the one deciding it was eight years ago and four years ago. From a cell phone she is hiding to a SIM card and WhatsApp she is hiding away from Imole. A man sharing his iCloud with you. Man was like a mirror, nothing to hide for his wife. But his wife is hiding too many things. Mobad said in that late voice note, Why did you pop my life? He kept mentioning that she and her family are doing too much and wants him taken out. How did Nigerians ignore all this? Now, they saw a tweet from the wife. In the end, she said, no matter who I meet, I can never be the same. That statement is coming too early. Where did she get the solace from? A grieving nursing mother, already thinking about who she will meet next. Of course, we all know, but why in a haste? At this time, Nigerians are looking at eight years relationship. Meanwhile, money changes people. The type of things Mobad said in that voice note against his wife will be used as a case study or evidence even after two million years. It doesn't matter when. He sounded so much like his wife put him to shame. And now the child's DNA is making me feel that I don't want to think. R.I.P. in one. This was the one of the comments I saw in this post, okay? People are saying that there is also a late voice note. And in that voice note, that Mobad accused his wife of so many things. He accused his wife of infidelity. He accused his wife of, you know, of, you know, of trying to buy him. So now people are pointing accusing finger on the wife saying that the first thing is a DNA test. You know, just Lover once said this that they want to distract people and they also want to pin the death of the guy on his wife. But since it is like this and the woman have insisted that she's not going to get a DNA test, I think she should just get the DNA test done. What do you guys think? Let me know in the comment section below. But before then, let's look at this video that the very dark black man made, okay, concerning this situation right now. So watch this video and hear what he said. So the hospital where they took Mobad to are saying that he was brought in when he wasn't alive. You understand? So if he wasn't alive when they brought him to the hospital, where did he die? We are those three boys again. Bring in those three boys. Where did they carry Mubad from? Again, I'm still asking the same question because if the hospital are saying that when they brought Mubad in, he wasn't alive, so where did he die? Secondly, not be this same hospital dog say the nurse where took him injection saying a quack. It doesn't even make sense. But then again, if the hospital are standing on the ground, that means he don't buy before those three boys bring him. Now, now, only those three boys know what thing happened where they carry Mubad from. Do you understand? Now, let's assume that the hospital they lie. Let's go back to the car scene. Let's go back to the car scene. In the car, I am not mad. I see say that boy head move. And that has to be the shortest video of a death announcement ever of a celebrity. It has to be the shortest video I've ever seen. Ah, Mubad is there. Ah, six second pump. And then the next thing, three of them again in another in another eight second video. Mm, 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 mm. Where did they carry Mobad from? What happened there? Was there a fight? Did somebody hit his head? And they think about the worst thing where it happened. Did somebody hit his head and then he passed out? Did they drug him? Did they drug him? Did they drug him? But that video, the boy had moved. Does that mean those boys actually? Because now, now, like it's with this scene, it have already taken the Ramali and Sandari out of the question, and even Mubad, Jeffrey, the three of them. If we are feeling boys on this, the three of them will be suspect again. Bring those three boys. If you bring those three boys, we will know what will happen to that boy. But everybody, I don't they ask this thing, I don't they ask this thing, I don't they ask this thing. Everybody, don't they take. What do you 
you guys think about what he said let me know in the comment section below okay i'm going to stop here for now please like share subscribe and i'll see you guys in my next video bye